Hi there, this is Curtis Beisel from Scan Your Entire Life. And I received an email from Sylvia all the way in Christchurch, New Zealand. And she asks, Do you have any suggestions for captioning digital photos uploaded from my camera so that the information stays with the photo file, even if it's copied and opened on another computer? I've found that the captions I've created in Picasa can only be viewed in Picasa on the PC on which they were created. If I copy my My Pictures folders to a new computer, I fear that all the captioning work I've done will be lost unless the information can be embedded in the individual photo files. Perhaps I should make my next computer a Mac. Well, Sylvia, I certainly don't want to sway you from buying a Mac as your next computer because I, I just think they're genius, but I don't think this is actually your problem. It's not a PC issue that you're dealing with. I think it's more just that you're not looking in the right place in your photo files on your PC after you've added the caption. So Sylvia, let me just say, you're spot on. The whole idea with typing in the caption is that you do want this information to stay embedded inside of all your photo files. That way, if you pass them along to future generations, that information will stay with each individual photo. When you type a caption into Picasa, it immediately writes that caption information inside of your master image files on your computer. Okay, so let me demonstrate that right now. I'm gonna pull up my version of Picasa. And this is a pretty empty Picasa library file. I have it managing just one folder, which is my pictures folder. And in there, I just have a single scan photo that I have as an example. So I'm gonna double click here on the image. And you'll notice down here, I don't have a caption typed in for this image yet. So let's write one. Uh, I'll just write something simple like, Curtis opening gifts with grandma, exclamation point, simple. Hit enter. And now the question is, is this information written into the master image file? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the version here of Windows Explorer or File Explorer. And we're gonna go to my pictures folder. And here is the photo right here. If I right click and do properties, you will see in the details tab, under description and title, here is the caption that I typed in, Curtis opening gifts with grandma. So it does work. It Picasa does immediately write that caption information right into the file, which is fantastic. Some non-destructive image managers actually maintain information like the caption information inside of a database, and you only get that information once you export out a version of that image. But Picasa doesn't seem to work that way. It's an immediate saving feature. Now the thing about this caption information is it's written in a type of metadata called IPTC. And this standard metadata isn't available to all applications. I mean, it is available, but not all applications are written so that you can view this metadata. I actually have another program on my computer here that can view this IPTC metadata. So I'm going to load it up right here, and it's called Photo Me. There we go. So I'm going to load this up. And it's kind of hard to see here, isn't it? So I'm going to minimize some of this stuff here. There we go. And minimize that as well. So I'm going to go into Photo Me and I'm going to do Open File. And what is this? Close this here as well. And then I'm going to select this photo and do Open. And in this kind of uh, distracting, busy view here, <laughs> it's just a lot of information, isn't it? Um, there is a tab up here called IPTC NAA Data. If I click right here, you'll see down here in the field column under Caption Description, it also displays this caption information that I typed in in Picasa. So Sylvia, I think you're good. I mean, what this means is that you can copy your My Pictures folder to any computer you'd like, and this IPTC caption information will stay with your photos. It just means that you or anyone else who'd like to view your caption information, your photos, will need to make sure they're using a program that's written to access this caption information. If you found this information helpful and you're serious about your digital photo collection, I would encourage you to come to my website and sign up for my mailing list. You'll start to receive my free informational email series on the best ways to organize and share your digital as well as your scanned print and slide collections. Remember, I'm here to help. In fact, 
If you'd like the names and links to additional software to view your caption metadata, or you have a question after watching this video you'd like to ask me, come to the page I've set up about this video on my website at scanyourentirelife.com slash yt5, as in YouTube video 5, or click on the link in the information below if you're watching this video on youtube.com. Alright, take care, cheers.